Hey gang, this is Sal or Scampa123, as you may or may not know me. Uh, tonight I'm going to walk you through a little bit of Popper VR. <clears throat> and this demo video is going to set the stage for a series of smaller videos which will focus in on different areas of Popper VR. So first and foremost, uh, this is the arcade. You've seen this from Dave or Nailbuster. I can walk around this arcade and, and one of the cool things is if I go into the menu, I can go and click on the home position. It brings me back to my central home position. Now, if I go into the Popper menu, I have a drop down to change the rooms and the rooms are just uh, files in a directory in the, in the, in the models directory. I have one called room, but I have a few others in there, right? Now we can go to my room that I created. And this room is really meant to be a, a demo of the different features that you see on the, um, on the Popper VR wiki, all of the options that are, that are inside of uh, the system today are demonstrated in this room. So I have the arcade machine. You've seen this, right? You've seen the arcade machine. You've seen the pinball machine. Um, but I have some posters on the wall. I have a TV screen on the wall. I have some other objects in the room. So first and foremost, your beams. Your beams help you explore this virtual world. So as you point around, um, if something turns green, you know it's clickable. So right now, I know if I, t if I point at the arcade poster, my beams turn green. That means I can do something here. So why don't we do that? And of course, it brings me back to the arcade. So what I'm going to do is just jump back to my room. And we're going to look at a few other things. We're going to explore this room. So first and foremost, we see this is playing an MP4. Uh, again, this is one of the options, one of the features uh, that you can include in your models. And I'm just going to pause that. Uh, you can pause that. I pause that with my controller in the room. Uh, but you can play, you know, MP4s. You can do lots of creative things with that, right? MP4 doesn't have to be a, a movie trailer like I put in there. It could be any number of things that you can then control in the room. Uh, additionally, I have another poster. I have a Back to the Future poster. I have an Asteroids flyer sitting on this little coffee table. Of course, Asteroids is the video game we have in here. So if I, I can see that that's green, let me click on that. That brings me right to the Asteroids machine, which is kind of cool. And that's using uh, uh, a go-to position, right, which is a positional way of jumping around the room, whereas the arcade, I went to a room. It was go-to room. This is go-to position. Now, you can see that my beam's turning green while I point to the screen. That's because I have MAME set up uh, to work with this as well. What's cool about this is, is MAME is, is literally running um, on this screen in VR. So I can play the game here if I can see my keys. So I'm literally playing this game in the VR environment. Now I can exit the game by going to the menu here. You want to do that to exit MAME specifically. When we're on the on the pinball cabinet, we can uh, we can exit using our standard cabinet key. Now, as I look around, there are posters and things. So let's look at this top hat and wand. If I click on that. Please wait. Please wait. I am, I now, am now loading, loading up, up the game. game. Have, fun. Have fun. That's going to bring us right into one of my favorite tables, Theater of Magic. So there we go. Now, if I hit the exit button on my cabinet, it's going to bring me out of that. And we're going to come back into Popper. So, so far we've seen, uh, we've seen the 
go to room. We've seen go to position. We've seen pop launch, which is launching a cabinet. This will also launch another table. It will launch uh, back to the future. So that's a poster uh, launching a table. And you can launch uh, things and, and do things from any of these objects within VR, right? So anything you can define, which is pretty cool when you think about it because uh, now, you know, I've shown you some static things, right? But I do have something else in this room that I haven't shown you yet, right? And it's not this plant that's red and it's not that poster and it's not that couch. It's, oh, it's Darth Vader. And you may have seen him uh, make an appearance on one of Nail Buster's videos and certainly in Terry's table, uh, Star Wars. Let's see what happens. He's turning green here, so Please he must wait. be something I that I can launch off of. So you can see Darth Vader dancing around over here, doing a little break dancing. This is one of my uh, favorite tables on Future Pinball. And it's cool in pancake mode, but it's even cooler in VR. And we are back in our room. And of course, directly from the table here we can we can really play anything that's on our uh anything that's on our machine because we could play it i mean if we really wanted to we could play it in pancake mode but uh but you know we can launch off certainly into any of the vr tables we have so that's it, gang. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. This video, again, was just about demoing off uh, a bit of the features of Popper VR. And then I'm going to do a series of smaller videos to just focus in on each area. How to launch an MP4 uh, in, you know, in your space. How to jump to a table or launch a table. How to jump to a position. How to jump to a room. All of these things will be covered in a series of short videos uh, for you to learn from. So I hope this was useful and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.